Okay, so wait, the protagonist isn't Robot Guy? What's up, people of the internet? This is Megasan Pika here with me reviewing the newest trailer of Danganronpa 3, the game. New Danganronpa V3, whatever. Yes, and to a surprise, yes, another trailer for the game came out after, what, a couple months? Last time we've seen one was in December of 2015, last year. I think. It was sometime around last year. The end of last year. But we're going to kick this review off by actually viewing the trailer ourselves. First thing we see is the Spike Chunsoft logo and... I think there's some Japanese words. I think someone already translated them somewhere on... Uh, I think I saw it on Tumblr somewhere. But right here it says that it's coming out... I think January set, uh, next year. January next year, and uh, we have Monokuma here. Don't exactly know what he's saying, but here's all the new characters and our new protagonist. I think you pronounce the name uh, uh, Kayade? That's her name? Now, it's kind of weird that a female is the protagonist of the main games of Bang and Rumpa, because usually we you know we get a dude. It's kind of, but you know, it's cool that we get a uh, female. It's a nice change. I think, you know, in the last game we got a female, which was, uh, Komaru. This game, it's gonna be, gonna be nice. We've seen the Clash Trials. And, uh, after we see what the Clash Trials look like, we get a view of a new Monokuma? But besides Kaede, we got a bunch of other, we got the entire class. I think it's the entire class, yeah. First person we see is this pink outfit girl, this pink sailor outfit girl who looks like, kind of looks like some type of steampunk masochist. I'm not quite 100% with her. After that, it's, uh, he kind of looks like a Nazi. After that, we see some guy with black hair. He's wearing a lot of black and white. Seems to be rich or some type of, he looks like, he looks like he's famous in some type of way. That or he's some type of hipster. Next, we see some small little guy who looks like he's not even a part of this series. He wears a real he wears a pointy hat and he has on leather. He's real edgy for a little small guy. I guess he's he's gonna be the new Fuyu Hiko. After that we have some girl who seems to be wearing flower petals for, uh, that t keeps her I'm guessing she has a ponytail wrapped in the back of her head. After her is none other than robot guy himself, Robot Ahoge. Then it's the other girl from uh, the first trailer and the first time, yeah, the first time we've seen Danganronpa through the game. Then there's this other girl who's behind her who kind of looks like a small, not muscly version of Sakura. Next to her looks like some type of husky, black-haired Komeda with a suit on. Kind of like a bug catcher with that little thing uh, wrapped around him. Behind him looks is the guy that we also seen in the first trailer. Behind them is a little witch girl, which who looks she looks adorable. And uh, behind her looks like some she looks like a librarian of some sort, I'm guessing. Ending it off with the last few students, it looks like another Nazi? Not necessarily. He looks like he's very I'm not sure. He has like a suit on, but next to him or her or whatever, is like a Lolita looking girl. It kinda, from my perspective, kinda looks like a guy wearing girls' outfits. Whatever. In the middle, we have this guy who looks very plain for Danganronpa. He looks like some type of fan character, to be honest. I mean, he doesn't look as plain as Hajime, but, you know. And then behind him is Kaede, who's standing by herself all the way in the back of the class. I think Kaede's full name is Kaede Anamatsu or Amamatsu? I think, it's, I think it was Anamatsu. Anamatsu. Now, I think after that, we go... We see the school. In one room, it kind of seems like it looks like an arcade, kinda? And in another room, which I think is the first room that was shown, kinda similarly looks like... It doesn't look like anything. It looks like it's a hallway that's very grassy. It looks like it's been abandoned for like a hundred years or something. You see the class trial. Well, I guess that's the first class trial. It seems that the podiums don't just move up into the air that we saw in... I think it was the first or the second uh, trailer. They don't just move upward into the sky, they they move uh, horizontally, not just vertically. 
Cause what we've seen in, the, in this trailer, they move, they seem to be moving back and forth when you know you uh, give your argument, or maybe it does that when someone is going to speak. You also see that robot Ahoge's Ahoge seems to look like a noodle. Not just a noodle, it looks like a question mark. Does that mean that his Ahoge is going to change depending on his mood? In one scene, we actually see when Ka when we have a close up of Kaede that the uh, guy that I said that looked really plain next to Hot, uh, who looks really plain, not, not next to Hajime, but he looks, his plainness is comparable to Hajime, but the guy that I said looks plain, he stands next to Kaede, but in a certain shot, he's not there. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or if that's intentional, but if that's so, that would mean he's dead. But if he was dead, that means his picture not there. His picture isn't there that shows that he's dead. But you can also say that means that, that they're trying not to spoil it, but by him not being there, that kind of is a spoiler. Whatever. But I think that's it for that, for, the, for some of the stuff, from the main stuff of the trailer that I noticed. There's still more that I'm going to say. It's not the end of the video. There's also, uh, I think by Famitsu, I think it's called. They also posted their own article of uh, Danganronpa 3 the game. It looks similar to what they gave to us for uh, the anime. It shows all the characters below while it shows them other information on the top. I noticed that Kaede, when she, does, she has a little finger pointy thing Similar to what Hajime and Nagi have, I think Komeda has a finger pointy thing too. In the Famitsu thing, Famitsu article, I know it's a plain guy. He's doing like the Komeda hand thing, but not like Komeda. His expression, his expression doing it is more so like a good grief type of crab crab hands. Okay guys, I know I know that I think the other games are irrelevant to what's going on in Danganronpa 3, but I want to bring this up. And I also want to also want to say that yes, I know that Danganronpa 2 takes place in a virtual world. Again, so but what if that robot we seen and on the 5th island of Danganronpa 2 on the 5th chapter is actually Kaede? Just just put it out there, you know? I know it's a virtual world, and I know the recent games have nothing to do with Danganronpa 3, but just a little thought I had. But speaking of Kaede, I'm gonna get this off my chest for right now. For a female protagonist, or just for for a protagonist of the Danganronpa series in general, her hoge is small. I think it's actually smaller than Komaru's, and hers is like thin. Kaede's design is also very simple, but you know, you gotta keep it simple for a protagonist. Don't want anything crazy. It's kind of weird that Robo, Robo Hoge guy and the red shirt, the red sailor suit girl, and the guy he, who has a Komeda looking shirt guy, purple haired guy, aren't the, you know, the three main, main people. I thought Robo Hoge was gonna be the protagonist, seeing that he was on the first two trailers and he was on the what was it a poster the first you know art that we saw for the game you could say they were hiding the protagonist but wouldn't it make sense to show the protagonist what's what's what are they hiding from us i mean at one point in the trailer we did see her hide in a closet or come out of a closet that'd be the weirdest place for the protagonist to walk out of i guess that would leave hajime to be the kind of the normalest person to walk up to this, he just kind of walked up to the school. Yeah, Hajime walked up to the school and walked in the classroom and things happened. Even though he went through a weird portal thing, but you know, Nagi, he woke up in Hope Speak Academy. Komaru was trapped for like, what, half a year? Or however long it took? And the new protagonist, Kaede, is coming out of a locker. Still kind of wish the robot guy was a protagonist. I just wish that Kaede would know how to say Sode Wachi Gao, y'all, with her chest. Gotta say it with your chest, man. But I can already tell. I can already tell who the waifus are gonna be in this game. It's gonna be Kaede, this girl, this girl, and this girl. And maybe this girl. I'll have to know her. I have to see. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to learn these characters pro. Uh, not their, not their. Gonna have to learn their stories. Gonna the personalities. You know, from the looks of the witch girl, she's probably either gonna be small and innocent, or she's gonna be another Hiyoko. You know, now that I look, Kaede does kind of look like Canon from Ultra Despair Girl. Speaking of Kaede's design, she has a lot of music notes on her body. Well, not her body, but she has hairpins and her skirt has music notes on them. Is that like saying she's like some type of musician? Some type of composer? Whatever. The small soccer looking girl kind of looks like her design, again, she looks like a smaller, not muscular Sakura fused with Asahina, actually. She looks like Asahina with Sakura aesthetics. But anyway, it looks like she's wearing, wearing a bikini with a yellow banana? Just joking, it looks like she's, she's wearing a yellow coat with a bikini under it. And what are those straps to her bikini, this bikini skirt she's wearing? It looks like, it looks like knives. I can go on and on and on about uh, what's going on in this, pro in this uh, trailer and kind of do some little character analysis, but I think that's pretty much all I could think of right now for this video. You know, besides the fact that I, I think when we seen the trailer, everything was taking place during the prologue in the first clash. Oh, and uh, the leveling up system from Danganronpa 2 is back. I've noticed that as well. And I'm guessing there's going to be a day and night system. Which there already kind of was. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. See you then.